Hi! In this video, we're going to learn how to play a short section of the melody of Remember Me from Disney Pixar's Coco, which has been altered slightly to make it easier for beginning and intermediate players to learn. First, I want everyone to set their instruments and bows down in a safe space where they won't get knocked over or stepped on, um, because we're going to start by looking at the rhythm of our song. Okay, so we're going to start out uh, by looking at the rhythm first for this piece. Um, so this um, song has eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes, dotted half notes, and then the very last note is a whole note. Um, so we're going to start off by clapping this together. Um, so if you see me looking this way, it's because I have the piece pulled up over here. So we're going to go ahead and clap this together and then we can try and look at the notes in it. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's the rhythm in this song we're playing. Okay, so before looking at the specific notes in the song we're playing, um, we're gonna start by warming up with our D major scale um, because that has a lot of the notes that are in this piece. Um, so we're going to start on open D string. This is for all string instruments. And um, we're just gonna play that major tetrachord and then do the same thing on the A string. So watch me first. One, two, ready, go. So now we can play that together. So same thing, just together. So one, two, ready, go. Okay, so we're going to be using a lot of those notes in um, Remember Me when we're playing. So keep all those notes in mind, um, and especially keep in mind your F sharps and your C sharps. Okay, so you should be able to see on your screens um, the actual sheet music to the arrangement of Remember Me that we're going to be playing. Um, some of the notes are a little different than the actual song just to make it easier for everyone to be able to play it. And we are not going to be using our bows in this. Um, we're just gonna be plucking. If you want to add in later, as you become more advanced playing this with the bow, uh, then that's great. But we're just going to be doing pizzicato in this video. So we're going to um, look at this music and you can, if you need to stop and um, look at the notes closer before playing it, then you can go ahead and pause this video um, to make sure you know all of your notes and your fingerings. Um, and just make sure you notice that a lot of the notes in this piece are stepwise. Um, and so a lot of them are in a very scalar pattern. So there aren't a ton of skips, um, but you may want to make a little marking um, in your brain if you do notice a skip so that you make sure you get those fingerings right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this song and you can either, if you already looked at the notes um, and you feel good with playing them, you can play it with me if you want to sight read it, or you can just go ahead and listen through this time and then we can play it together the next time. So this piece starts on an E and make sure that with the rhythm that we just practiced that you're starting not on directly beat three, you're starting on the end of beat three. So you're starting on E. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Um, if you notice, whenever you um, get onto your A string, your, the notes you're playing are in a direct um, down order of that scale that we played earlier. So it's... So 
So it may seem like those notes are high and they're a jump from the other notes, but you're just playing the scale that you played earlier. Um, so it shouldn't be too difficult to understand. So I'm gonna play it one more time. And if you didn't play with me the first time and you wanna play this time, um, then feel free to go ahead and join me. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> Um, just to review what we learned here today, um, we started off by reviewing the rhythms um, that are in Remember Me from the Disney movie Coco. We looked at the uh, rhythms that are in it and this time signature and everything. Um, we then looked at our D major scale um, to look at the notes that are in the piece so that we could make sure we have all our fingerings and everything down before looking at the actual music. Um, and then we looked at the piece and we figured out how to play it and we played it together. So if you want to look back at that and practice it some more, um, you can go ahead and rewind this video. Um, I hope you all learned something. Um, if you are done practicing your instrument, then you're gonna go ahead and carefully put it away in your case. Um, and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you. Remember me. Though I have to say goodbye, remember me.